Joining me now, Katrina Pearson, Trump campaign national spokesperson. Katrina, I mean, you tell me, why would this woman, at great harm to herself, come out 11 years later and make an accusation like this and make it up at a whole cloth? Well, Megan, I'm not going to sit here and to pretend to know anyone's motive for doing anything that they do. Um, but what I will say, the question is, 26 days before an election, um, and they all have the exact same answer, and it was, oh, well, it was the debate. Um, and I'm just not buying that. Mr. Trump has denied this. The witness that she herself has named has come out and denied this publicly, said that that never happened. Mr. Trump has never treated a woman that way in his presence. It would never put him in that the position butler who walked to even in on deal them? with anything like this. Is that Absolutely. Yeah, but that, the, the, she doesn't say the butler saw Trump, is, in her words, trying to shove his tongue down her throat. And she goes on to talk about how then they went back. They sat on, this, on the sofa. Trump looked at her and said, have you ever been to Peter Luger's for steaks? I'll take you. We're going to have an affair. I'm telling you. He referenced the infamous cover of the New York Post during his affair with Marla Maples and said, you remember? Best sex I ever had. It's very detailed. I mean, I'm not saying it's true. I don't know whether it's true or it's not true, but it's certainly very detailed, is it not? Well, I mean, just like within the last hour, Megan, uh, one of the other women has already changed her story. So, no, it's definitely not true or true. Mr. Trump has denied this. I take him at his word for this. Um, but, but this why is don't you something take him at his word on the bus where he said he does do this? Because that was on a Hollywood Access bus. He was with another guy in private doing what guys do in a machismo way, whether you like it or not. That's how that happened. Yeah, but they were having, the fact that they were having a private conversation leads many to believe what he said was true. That he, this is guy to guy and Trump well, no, saying, Megan, I can't even guys, control myself. Two guys I just that are them talking about asking. girls. But two guys that are talking about girls one up in each other, making each other laugh, that's a little bit different. It's not like they were sitting there plotting on how to actually go about doing it. That's completely different. Listen, but I, in this case, I, I, Mr. Trump has this. denied these allegations. He's denied them all. And I want to say this. It's, we don't know whether they're true. We, we don't have time to adjudicate these matters one by but one that's before the election point. But day. that's exactly and, my and point, Trump, Megan. We no, don't and, and have time I'm to giving adjudicate you that. these. And Trump finds himself in an impossible position because he, all he can do is say it's not true and we're not going to have an adjudication. Except the American people, they're a little bit smarter than that simply because this did happen on the exact same day WikiLeaks has come out. We have found out so much of the corruption and the lies and collusion between the Clinton campaign and the media as well as the banks that they don't want to talk about this. The media doesn't want to talk about this. Megan, mm -hmm. tonight I'm here in North Carolina. Remember that hurricane that came through? Mm -hmm. 23 people died. The Trump Women's Tour has left the campaign this week because people are hungry here. Food banks are trying to feed yeah. 600 families this week, and the rivers still haven't receded. So we have a problem in the United States, and our countrymen don't even know that the people of North Carolina need help because they're so focused on what Hillary Clinton wants to allege about Donald Trump. It's disgusting. Katrina, it's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Great to be here, Megan.